Hey, yo, this is Jake Fever with the I'm Not Sober Drink Review, and thanks for tuning in. Today on the docket, I got something a little different. I have the Evolution of Enyaq. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to taste the Evolution of Enyaq and tell y'all which expression do I like the most. Now, you know, you're looking at Jake, and you might see, like, I got the Henny shirt on, which can be purchased at jakefever.com, which is dope. This is like the Evolution of Henny. It made me think of this idea to taste the Evolution of Enyaq. Now, if you don't know about Enyaq, it's a black-owned brand cognac, and they use this, they use like uh, sourced cognac from specific people, but I don't know if it's the same specific people when they started out with. Now, a lot of y'all been asking me, hey, do I try any black-owned stuff? Do I do anything like that? Yes, I do try a lot of black-owned stuff, but basically, I try to try the good stuff. I like the good stuff, and that's what I put on. You know, um, I do try some of the some of the trending things as well because I want to see what those things taste like because they they're in the news and they popping. But this right here, man, it has like a lot of celebrity endorsements. It's out of New York, a uh, black owned guy that actually runs this company, and I think he's doing a good job with it. Now, y'all seen a couple of my reviews. I don't think the cognac is the best cognac in the world. Obviously, that that's my opinion. Um, I could be biased, y'all see what I do. I got the shirt, all the Hennessy in the background, but I do give higher ratings to certain cognacs over Hennessy. So, you know, this your boy Jake, the Yacht King, I got you. So I keep it real, real as it gets, but I just want to explore the expressions of the cognacs that Enyaq has represented. So if you don't know, A.D. Fusini is the person who originally started bottling this Enyaq right here. You can see this on the bottom, or the picture in the thumbnail, all right? So your boy Jake got a little bottle of this. This is actually fine cognac. This is not the actual VS. These two are VS. I'm gonna see which one I like the most, which is fresh. And so it's, it's kind of not like a fair uh, assessment, but I just want to taste it anyways to see what it's about. So basically I'm giving a review of the Selection of this, and then we're gonna do the VS expressions of those. So first up, will be the original before it ever bottled any uh, Enyaq. So let's see what it tastes like. Nice floral smell. Very flowerful, caramel on the tongue. Looks spicy on the way down. First drink of the day, didn't burn. It's it um, rather uh, settling. Like, you get like no kickback at all with that one. But that's what I expect from a fine deep cognac. A lot of the fine, when you find fine cognacs and, and things like that, it usually have a, a no kickback to it. Get this one spinning. So with this one here, we're gonna put that over there. We're gonna go with the what they originally uh the bottle looked like. Now this was a dope bottle in the beginning. Like it had a dope top. I never seen anything like it, but it is kind of hard to take off. Got an inside twist, twist off cap. Feel like, I feel like I'm gonna break it sometimes. So let's pour it up. Now this is a little darker than the fine. I thought it was just darker because it's more condensed inside here, but it's a little bit darker for real. Cheers. I get a more oaky smell to this. Uh, I get a little bit more bouquet in that one, but like a uh, floral bouquet, but I'm getting like a fruity oakiness. And I'm actually getting a oakier uh, flavor that's coming off this. But again, it's very settling, like on the swallows, no burn. Now, it takes off that like that peppery taste that the first one had, like it had a lot of like, like a peppery on the tongue, like, but it wasn't a burn, it was like peppery a little bit. But this is a little more subtle. I kind of like this one a little better than that one. So here's the Enyaq that's present today. It's about uh, anywhere from 28 to 35 bucks, I believe. 
So let's go ahead and pop this open. See how it tastes. Now this one is darker than all three. So, and I'm getting, I don't get a heavy bouquet or oakiness. I'm getting fruity and I kind of smell a little bit of alcohol that comes off this a little bit. This one right here, it's not, it's not, it's, this one gives more heat on the swallow as, than, than all three of them. The flavor profile is not there. It's, it's more of a, some, some cognac that I would rather just know I got cognac in a drink and I'm gonna try to make something like sweet and good. That's what I'll use this for. I keep saying that over and over again because it, it comes back to it. These two now, these are, uh, expressions that I would like that just have meat. Uh, this one right here, it's a different oakiness, but it has a smooth, subtle uh, swallow. This right here, I, I believe, oh, see, this is the Appleton Cognac Control Lee. So they have a totally different, it's a totally different company that's, that's behind this one. I think these two was the right move for them. So when they moved over, it wasn't, it wasn't as good as I thought it would be. But Overall, that's the that's the world of Inyak that I have. Uh, if I'm wrong about anything, drop a comment. Let me know. Tell me what y'all think about Inyak. Try it out for yourself. Yes, sir.